Alrighty guys, as the key bring us into the Dragon Ball Legends T.O.P. walkthrough video, this is going to be for part 2 of season 43. If you guys missed out on part 1, I will link it in the description down below. So, this is what we're working with right here, right? We do have the Regeneration Squad. Everyone's still looking in good standings right here. I did hear that some of you guys have been struggling a little bit, and I've already gotten, like, the, the, the criticism, right? And it's not bad criticism. I'm always, always, always going to be open to the criticism and stuff like that. So, people were mentioning that maybe we should have just went with Super Baby 2, right? As a more guaranteed healer than this fat... Well, well I, I don't want to be mean. Like, he's... he's Yes, he's fat, but he's still Majin Buu. He's a good guy. But, so, maybe instead of using him as a healer, because this is kind of like my, my secondary healer that I have, maybe we should have just had this man instead, right? The Super Baby 2. Um, probably... Most of you guys have him Zenkai, right? Because I, I I took the L on that. I don't have him Zenkai. That's personally why I went for the Fat Boo. Also because the Fat Boo is in the higher tier than him as well, right? But if you do want it, if you wanted to have completely like played it safe, then yes, I do think Super Baby Two was the the better choice right there. I my reasoning too was not only was Fat Boo the higher tier, but also he's going to be Zenkai buffing this first form cell, who was honestly he was kind of like a must pick for me, right? He was kind of like a must pick for me just because of this of this guy being an S tier. But either way, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. What you guys want to see differently. Because I, I like, again, the goal for these videos, for these walkthrough videos, is to always make it as convenient and easy as possible to get that 1000 CC. All right, so now that we're on the second half of the board, we can kind of play this a little bit more stupidly, right? And by that, I mean we can play, like, a bit more risky. That way we can get as much points as possible. So we're going to take on the higher difficulties. As long as we're still in good standing, though, in terms of health. So the fight we will be taking on is directly ahead of us. It's a fight stage. It is against the sagas from the movie stage, which we have before all right so this is the formation we're going to be using right here our uh, boot tanks will be getting the special move slot so he can increase his uh, his blue card damage all right so our attack order i think we're going to use uh, the same attack order that we used on this fight last time which is getting this gohan before he transforms right because if he attacks our purple cell he's going to take a lot of damage um and then we'll get tapion gamma 2 and then we'll go for broly this goku and then goku at the very end right because he's a little bit tanky right so I got through that fight fairly easily. Not, I mean, obviously, he's not the best thing in the world right here, but I think that's fine. Look at this. We got Cell getting his special move gauge right here. Our EXs are the only ones that I'm really worried about in terms of HP. We did get the full kill right there, which is very important to us. All right, so now for our 15th win streak bonus, we are going to be going for this 4th stage right here against the Ginyu Force, and it's. I think this is going to be easy. All right, so I kind of want to do this. This formation right here, specifically because I have three super attacks available to me in the form of the dynamic, or not dynamic Piccolo, the um, Kamikolo, right? This Zenkai Piccolo, this Boo Tanks, and then this First Form Cell. If this First, first Form Cell didn't have his super attack available to him, I probably would just sub in the, the Red 21 here. But because we do have super attacks to work with, because it's a 15 win streak bonus, I want to try to get as much points as possible from this. So we're, this is how we're going to do it. All right, so for attack order, we'll get Raccoon out of the way, then Jace, and then we'll get one of the greens out of the way because he has double greens. I want to get rid of those pretty um, quickly, right? And then we'll get it's Birder, this purple Ginyu, and then Gold at the very end. All right, so that was very easy, right? Definitely a lot of it is due to the fact that we had so many super attacks available to us, but 3.5 million points, I think that's pretty good. Um, we did get the full kill right there as well. Okay, so now we were kind of back on track to the original pathing that I had laid out for us, right? So we go straight above us here for this 5 fist stage. Um, I don't think this is going to be too bad, especially considering the numerous amount of reds that they have. Even though there's two greens right here, we can kind of like even that out a little bit. So this is the layout we're going to be using right here, right? Double blues. You do see me keeping on the purple cell right here, right? And busting out the red 21. Now, a tip that I do have for you guys that I probably should have mentioned earlier, like in the in the first video, right? In the first part, was just the fact that where I've placed this fat boo is completely like dependent on who was lower in HP between this purple cell and this yellow piccolo right here, right? If this yellow piccolo is lower in HP, I'm going to place him right here or right here, right? If, um, if the cell is lower in HP, then I'm going to go ahead and give cell double heals, right? So that's kind of how I'm placing that, just kind of like distributing it evenly between those two. All right, so attack order is going to be emulate Goku first, right? Because our boot tanks is on that um, key restore speed tile, meaning he's going to attack first. He's going to super attack him, hopefully just kill him. Then we'll go for double reds here, actually, with the easier red target, the EX Android 13. Then Dragon Fist Goku. Then after Dragon Fist Goku, we'll go for the future Gohan, Kakarot Goku, and Super Saiyan 3, a Legends Limited Goku at the very end, right? Because he will mitigate a blast card with his own green card. All right, so I'm not going to lie to you guys. I messed up severely severely messed up so you can see right here our yellow piccolo died and he's he's squishy right he's squishy i i should have 
I, I'm pretty sure last time we didn't put him into this fight because of them having three reds, right? So the same should have been done here. If you guys are watching this, do not put in that yellow piccolo. I That was a, just a crucial mistake on my part. All right, so next fight, you actually have two options here. If you want to play it safe, go for this three-fifth stage against the girls. I don't think you're going to have any difficulty with this. And if not, then go for, if you guys feel like you want to play it, get a little bit more points out of this, then go for this Ginyu stage, which also doesn't seem like it's going to be too difficult. So now this is the team formation we will be using right here. Red 21 is going to be buffing both of my, my Piccolos up there, as you can see from the highlighted tiles and stuff like that, right? Um, the only thing that's scary now is the fact that I, I really don't want this guy to die, this purple cell. So he is going to be placed on this tile right here. He's no longer going to be getting double hills because of this Piccolo dying. So let's see how this goes for us. All right, so for attack order, we're going to get the yellow out of the way first, right? Because I don't want him touching our purple cell whatsoever. And after him, we'll go for Raccoon. Jace will get a green out of the way with Ginyu. They had the purple Ginyu and then Golda at the end. All right, so RNG was on our side right there. You have to also keep in mind that RNG does play a part in this because our cell didn't get hit a single time, allowing him to get that a little bit of a breather, right? So he can go ahead and heal. We got 5 million points off that. Of course, we did get the full kill. All right, so next stage might be a little bit difficult given the circumstances that we have been placed under. It's going to be this fourth stage, and there's two greens on here, but there are three yellows to which Red 21 will fairly be able to melt through them. So this is the team formation we'll be using right here. The only thing that we're not getting from here is the, the, the slot to the top right of Red 21, right? Since she does buff those diagonals. And I could put I could put Cell right there, right? I could put him up here and then he would be getting buffed by the Red 21. But I think we do need to prioritize getting our special moves here. So I'm going to go ahead and slide him in right there. So this is the team formation we're going to be using right here, right? There's three yellows. So we're not going to make the same mistake that we made last time on that, that Goku stage, right? Where there was three reds. Where there's three yellows. I'm going to go ahead and put Cell on the bench for this one right here, right? But we are going to be getting a lot of super attacks right here. We're going to be prioritizing getting gaining a super attack with this first form Cell because he's on that special move gauge charge rate up tile. And so I think this will work out pretty nicely for us. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go for a yellow unit first, and then we will go for, for Whis, right? And then let's go ahead and get the Golden Frieza and then double yellows, leaving Buhan for the very end since he does have that annoying bubble shield. Excellent. So that, that fight actually went perfectly right six million points of that got the full kill right here and we actually look in we're looking like we're better off in terms of health all right so next fight will be directly above us this forfeit stage if you guys are honestly if you guys are in better better standing than me then maybe you can go for this five fist stage because again we are familiar with the stage but i'm just a little bit it's a little bit scary right it's a little bit scary so we're gonna go for this four fist stage keep it a little bit lighter on us right and then let's go into our formation so this is what we're rocking with right here. Cell does have, he's 4% off his gauge, meaning he's not going to get it on turn one. Turn two, he will be getting a super attack. This guy, on the other hand, since he does get the 20% to his gauge at the start of the fight, he will be getting the guaranteed super attack straight off the bat, which is what I'm looking for. So attack order here is going to be, we're going to get, we're actually going to get the purple Goku out of the way first, right? And then we'll work on this Gogeta. We'll actually go for double greens here. Right, so we'll go for the Gogeta, and then we'll go straight into, I believe that's Android 15, right? And then go for 14, this uh, Vegeta up here, and then Janemba at the very end. The reason why we go for Janemba at the very end is simply because of the fact that he will mitigate a blast card while also stunning you in the process, right? It's pretty powerful. And the reason why we go for this green Gogeta early on is because he will get a super attack at the start of turn 3 and also give you a another powerful ability that he possesses. So you want to have him, like, towards the top of your list. All right, I'm not going to lie to you guys. We kind of got screwed over by RNG in more ways than one, right? Because everyone decided to attack the purple cell. And uh, because this purple Goku, he stuns you on turn one. You don't really have it. There's nothing you can do about it. And so the person that he ended up stunning was this Piccolo, right? Which is who we formed our entire like attack order around. So that was quite unfortunate. But either way, we keep pressing on, right? We go straight ahead. This 5 fifth stage, it is our 20th win streak bonus. Again, we are familiar with the stage. For this one, I'm going to allow the Red 21 to gain some hills off of this, right? Because she's at 56% HP while Bootanks is at 70% HP. Again, you really want to delegate hills to everyone. You want to keep everyone healthy. You don't want to just only pocket one of your units right here, right? And I will be giving uh, the Q resource speed tile to my Bootanks right here. That way he can super attack first and foremost. So for attack order, I want to get a red out of the way first, and then we'll get two yellows into Golden Frieza, this Janemba, and then Buhan again at the very end. All right, so that was very easy. Considering that this was a 5th stage, I would say that was very easy. 8.5 million points off of that. We did get the full kill right there. Um, red 21 did get some hills. Unfortunately, Tanks did take some damage. 
So in my original path, I have this stage selected right here, right? Because obviously it's going to be the easier stage, but I kind of want to go for the five fifth stage and get as much points as possible, especially because we're in, we're at our last five fights, right? These are our last five fights. I kind of want to just go crazy right here. Um, but without the purple cell, I think purple cell is going to be too much of a liability, especially with this guy roaming around. So let's go ahead and see what we do here. Honestly, I think this is perfect because Bootanks gets a key restore speed Tyler here. Right, and then I can also heal the boot tanks and the red 21 at the same time. The only thing being is that I don't want any other key restore speed tile being taken up right here, so that this this slot is going to be remain empty, right? So we're not going to take advantage of that, but either way, let's try it out like this. All right, so I've never really encountered this fight before, but I do know I want to go for a red, the red first, right? So I think we will go for this red Zamasu first, and then let's go ahead and get one of the purples out of the way, right? We'll get this guy out of the way, and then we'll go for a yellow. Another purple will get the green and then the blue Goku Black at the very end. Alright, so surprisingly that was actually a very easy fight. Much more easier than I had ever expected right there. We got the 8 million points off of that. I'm very happy about that. That's right. We did get the full kill there as well. Alright, so now what I think we do is we just go left straight up. So we can go 4 fist, 4 fist, 4 fist, and then 5 fist, right? So with that logic, we go right here into this girl stage. Alright, so this will be our team formation here. Busting out the cell, right? Because now we need to get as much use of him as possible, meaning we need the, the Z-tier boost intact right here, right? Because he is our last standing Z-tier unit. So just to make things simple, we will go for this Red 21 first because she has a ridiculous um, key restore speed, right? So go for her first, and then we will go for this Android 18. Then we'll just do, so Red, Green, Red, Green. And then we'll go for a Thousand Day Bulma and then Pan at the very end. Alright, so unfortunately, that was the end of Cell right there, but 10 million points! Again, like I said, it was the end of Cell right there, but we did get the full kill off the 4 fist stage. Now, it is basically just our full sparking lineup. So we go straight up right here, 4 fist stage, it's literally the same fight. So this is the formation we'll be using right here, Boo Tanks on that special move tile, or not on the special, on the Kiwi Star Speed tile. That way he attacks first, he gets his special move first and foremost, and then we're going to take advantage of these ones over here too, so we can start building up our special move gauge with these guys. So let's go for red 21 first again, and honestly screw it, let's go for double reds, and then we'll go into, let's get Chi Chi, because 18 was a little bit tanky. We'll get Chi Chi, and then we'll get Bulma, Android 18, and then Pan at the very end again. Alright, so honestly pretty good, right? Nine, not exactly the 10 million points that we're looking for right here, but it's still pretty good nonetheless. We did get the full kill right there. I think things are going pretty smoothly. I, I have no doubts in this formation for the rest of the fights. So once again, we go straight up right here, four fifth stage. This one looks a little tricky. <laughs> to be quite honest with you guys, this one looks a little bit annoying. So let's see what we got right here. Again, we do have a uh, key restore speed tile, which is going to help out a lot. Oh wow, would you look at that? We actually don't really have to move any pieces right here. I, I can go ahead and just move the cell over here, and so both of these, the cell and the blue piccolo, will be both getting the health restoration tiles, and then I think we're good to go. Alright, so for attack order here, let's get MUI Goku first, since Bootinks will be special using a special move on him, right? And then we'll try to get this Gohan before he gets the transformation off, then we can go into Kakarot Goku, get this Dragon Fist Goku, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, and then Super Saiyan 3 Goku at the very end, like we usually do. Alright. So Bootanks kind of got a little bit dookied on right there. I ain't going to front, right? So he's very low in HP. We did get the full kill, though. 11 million points. I'm happy with that. Alrighty, guys. And for the final battle, we're going to go directly above us. It is going to be this 5th stage right here against GT, right? So this is fine. We're already at 100 million points. So I'm very confident that we're going to get the 1000 CC, but let's go ahead and go into our layout. All right. So this is going to be the formation we use right here. Red 21 will be buffing both of the Piccolos in the top left, the top right. And then we do have Fat Boo buffing or going to be healing the, the Boo Tanks and the Cells. Boo Tanks specifically being on this Key Restore Speed tile. That way he can get a super attack first and foremost, just in case he dies. Hopefully he just gets that super attack off. So in terms of attack order, I think we go for Red Ultra, or not the Ultra Omega, the regular standard Sparking Omega Shenron. And then we'll go for this guy because our Cell will get a super attack on turn 2, hopefully just killing this guy effectively. And then we'll get this Sin Shenron because he can be a little bit annoying, he does have the debuffs and stuff like that, right? And then we'll go for Ice, Nova, and then Ultra Omega Shenron at the very end because remember when you do hit him, he buffs all of his GT allies. Alright, so very easy fight, honestly, especially considering the team setup we had right here. And look at that bonus, man. 16 million points, dude? I, I think that's fantastic. I think that's absolutely amazing. So before we close out the video, let's go ahead and see where we lie in terms of our battle score, in terms of where we rank on the leaderboard. Alright, so at uh, the very top, right, we got the top free top G, 
with the Cybermen squad. And, you know, honestly, this was a team that we considered running. So I don't think that this team had trouble at all. Uh, it's very apparent. 181 million points is what this guy ended off with so in the rank one position right here. And then for us specifically, we are going to go ahead and finish probably, well, right now. So currently we're in the top 3,000, right? 2,043 is our ranking, which I'm absolutely happy with that. There's no doubt in my mind that I'm not happy with that. We probably will fall about 1,000 or 2,000 ranks. So I'm predicting we fall into the 4,000 range, 3,000 range. But either, even if we do fall that low, I think that's, I still think that's perfect, right? Because that's still in a very, very sustainable range to consistently get that 1,000. So you see, I'm happy with this experiment. I'm happy with using regeneration. Let me know if you want me to continue using regeneration or continue using teams like this that are going to be a bit more safe, going to be a bit more, basically going to be able to make it to the end of the board without dying. But if you have any other questions, comments, or concerns, please do let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys do enjoy the content, make sure you guys do leave a like, a comment, maybe even consider hitting that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later!